paddock, obviously. First question, how are you? How are the checks at the hospital? I know you had your, your elbow x-rayed. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm, I've been better, yeah. Uh, but I'm good. Um, I think just a big, bru a bit bruised, obviously, it's quite a big big impact and I think my body's just been thrown around a little bit but um, no I'm, I'm good I'm uh, I think ready to race for tomorrow um, and uh, yeah I want to get back on track already because uh, you know didn't end the way I wanted it to so and it was looking so good up to that point top in Q1 top yeah. in Q2 you're able to find grip seemingly where no one else could <laughs> talk us through you know what happened in, in that moment yeah um well like you said everything was um was going ex extremely well since the first lap in q1 things were going um perfectly and uh and the car was feeling hooked up i felt confident with the car um and uh yeah i guess it was tricky going out in q3 because uh, even on the out lap i was saying how wet it was and, and saying it should be um should be stopped or something because of i was aquaplaning quite a bit so was just a difficult situation to be in you know how much you want to push how much you're not and um i think it's a combination of yeah pushing a bit too much for for the weather at that point um aquaplaning a little bit in, in the middle of uh, a rouge which um obviously doesn't end too well and uh, and ends up being um the way i was in the end so um yeah i mean it's, i don't know um of course i feel bad because like you said, things are going very well. The the car was on fire, and um, the Q1, Q2 were extremely good. And I think I could have quite easily fought for for pole position. Um, but uh, I've now given the team a, a lot of work to do, and uh, and probably a very late night. But um, yeah, not a lot I can do now. Some drivers this weekend have said that it feels like there's a bit more of a bump at the bottom of Eau Rouge this yeah. year. Do, do you feel that, and did that have any bearing on the incident? Uh, yeah, there's like a different tarmac strip at the bottom um, and uh, definitely makes it a lot trickier, especially in those conditions when, it, when it's that wet. Um, I think it was one of the first laps where it basically wasn't flat out. And um, you know, I, it wasn't like I tried to do it flat out on, on my first attempt. I, I still lifted and, and whatever, but um, I think there was like, you know, you get these tram lines from, uh, from where people go. And uh, as soon as you go at the speed I was going, a little bit offline, you just kind of hit all the standing water and um, the wet tires with how much water was coming down. These bumps as well, like you said, in, in um, the bottom of Radion going through Eau Rouge, uh, just was too much for, uh, for what I had to do. So um, yeah, you know, I think in the end of the day, it's, I guess my, my, my mistake and my bad, but um, you know, I didn't feel like I was taking too many risks at the same time. I think it was just the conditions were, were so tough. And from what I heard, a lot of other drivers um, or complaining that it should get stopped at the same time. So, yeah, of course, fr frustrated and annoyed, but um, I'll to try and make up for it tomorrow. Uh, a lot's been uh, spoken about in recent weeks ab about the runoff uh, up on the inside going up into Radion up yeah. there. I know in the driver's briefing, you guys uh, were spoken to and discussed the, the new plans that the circuit have put in place uh, up there. Um, can they come soon enough? <laughs> yeah, uh, it would have been lovely to have that already, but. Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, safety is like on the top of every list nowadays and um, and rightly so. And I think it, like today, you know, my uh, my crash showed and of course I got a few bruises and but that's it, you know, comparing to, to many years ago, it could have been a lot worse. Um, but uh, yeah, I think there's been sadly too many things going on in, uh, in such a corner. Of course, we love keeping things the same. We love the historic part of, of Spa. But um, in terms of a safety point, there's been so many crashes lately and over the past few years, which have led on to obviously many, many bad things happening, which uh, we obviously don't want. So um, I think it's the, the safety for everyone. And um, I kind of maybe wouldn't have avoided my, my crash today, but uh, maybe wouldn't have been quite as bad. So, yeah, I think they're doing what they're doing. You know, FIA and, and everyone who's putting it together is doing what they can to, to make sure it's... Um, as safe for everyone and that's that's extremely important finally of course there's a grand prix to be had tomorrow things were looking so good up to that point yeah no idea yet where you're going to start whether <laughs> it's from the pit lane or a little bit further down the grid than you would have liked but yeah. how much are you looking forward to getting back in the cockpit and getting out there and, and showing everybody the result that should have been on track today um of course i'm i'm just excited you know just that i'm i'm okay um obviously the car wasn't and, and the boys have got a big job to do to, to putting everything to back to how it should be tomorrow and um, I don't think we, we know just yet the extent of everything and, and um, where I'm going to be starting on the grid tomorrow but uh, yeah 
Um, of course, I'm ex no, I'm very happy for George as well. I was watching um, in the ambulance on the way. I wanted to, to watch Collie still, and uh, and um, yeah, I was cheering on cheering on George to, to go for that pole. So um, yeah, excited. You know, Spa, anything can happen, and um, we obviously had a good pace. The car was was really nice to drive today, and uh, it's cool. You know, it's fun conditions to drive in. Maybe not quite at the end, but. Um, the, the whole of Q1, Q2 was, you know, it's challenging, but it's, it's, um, it's what we love as drivers. And, uh, and hopefully it's not too bad tomorrow and I can try to come back through.